Um, all right, so we'll do a mix of everything, upper, lower. Um, if you have dumbbells at home, please grab them. Um, if not, gallon jugs of water, cans, water bottles, whatever you may have that could add a little bit of resistance into your workout will work. Um, if I will demonstrate each exercise for you. So if you can't do it, you can do something that's modified. A lot of people have a hard time with like squats and lunges. So usually I recommend replacing those with some calf raises or a wall sit. Um, please realize you are participating in this exercise program at your own risk with your doctor's clearance to do so. Um, so just take it easy if you're feeling any um, sharp shooting pains. Feel free to take a break throughout, grab some water, towel, whatever you need. All right, the first exercise we're gonna do, you only need one dumbbell for, and I'm going to combine a squat into a uh, shoulder press. I'm gonna try to make it very fluid into one motion. So your feet are about hips width apart. You have one, dab, but one dumbbell. You're going to squat and then press right up. So what it looks like is you're sitting in the heels. Come down, chest is up. You reach high and then come right back down, all the way down, head before you reach it up high, okay? If you can't squat and you just want to work the arms, what I'm doing with your arm is just doing a hammer into a press and then back to a hammer into the center of the body. All right, so grab that dumbbell. Feet are gonna be facing forward, about hips width apart. Grab onto that weight, ready. Sit into those heels, bend the knees, reach right up overhead. Good, sit in those heels, keep that chest lifted, very important, press with that right arm. Good, sit in those heels, exhale and press it up. Good, sit low, exhale, press as you reach. Good, get those glutes back, keep that chest lifted. Awesome job, exhale, press. Great work, ladies. When you're squatting, stick those glutes back, don't let those knees pass those toes. Bring it down, squeeze, press it up. We have two more on this side. Down low, press. And last one, down, exhale, press. Good job. All right, take a brief rest. And then we're gonna do the same thing with the left side here. So we'll shift that dumbbell over to the left. Set up your squat form. Toes forward, shoulders square, and go. Bend those knees and the heels. Exhale, press up. Good, drop that arm down in front if you can. Try to reach the ground if you can with that dumbbell. Then extend the arm all the way up as you reach and press overhead. Good job. Bring it down, exhale, press it up. Good, now very important, as you're pressing up, squeeze your belly button into the spine. Good, exhale, press as you reach. Good, sit in those heels, exhale, press. Squat down low. Good, we have two more. That's two, reach and press. And last one, squat, reach and press. Good job. For set three, I'm gonna have you alternate your arms. So you're gonna come down, press. When you come in center, switch to the other arm and press, okay? So each time in your lowering phase here is where you switch out your arm before you're pressing it up. All right, so we'll set up for set three. Your toes forward, heels back, ready. Sit in those heels, start with the right, good, press. Bring that weight down low, switch arms, bend the elbow, extend. Good, get down low, challenge yourself with your squats. Core is tight, exhale, press it up. Good job, ladies. Good, bring it down, exhale, press and reach. Bend those knees and those heels, press overhead. Good, total body exercise we're doing here. Working arms, legs, glutes. Good job. Good, switch down low, elbow tight, exhale, press. Sit in those heels, elbow tight, press. Good, final three. Three, press it up, two, Press it up, and last one, 
press it up. Good job. All right. We're next going to do a stationary lunge with a bicep curl. So you're going to have one foot in front of the other, back foot us on the toe. You're going to grab two dumbbells, come into your lunge position, curl up. Okay, so that's what it's going to look like. So grab onto your weights. We'll start with the left foot out in front, right foot on the toe. Palms facing outwards, tuck those elbows in. Keep that head, chest, and neck up. Bend the right knee down to the ground, press through the left heel, curl. Good, bring it down, curl it up. Good, down low and curl. Excellent. Good, so you're pushing through that left heel, that's your power leg. Awesome. If the lunge is too much for you, stick with the bicep curl. Like I said, you can always add a calf raise into that bicep curl. Good, make sure that front knee is not passing that toe. A good way of doing this is making sure that your chest is lifted throughout. Good, we have two more. Down low, curl it up. Last one, down low, curl it up. Good, take a rest. Excellent job. We'll do two sets on each side today. All right, right leg in front, left foot back on that toe, grab onto those dumbbells, bend that back knee down, press through that front heel, curl those arms. Good, down, curl it up. Awesome. Your right heel is your power heel, so that you're pressing through that heel each time you straighten and extend. However, you're never locking your knee joints. Good, down, squeeze it up. Good, press through that heel. Chest is lifted. Don't let those elbows stray from the ribs. Good, three more, control. Exhale as you curl. That's two. And last one, good job, take a rest. Good, take a break. All right, we'll go back to left foot in front, right foot on the toe, palms turned out, elbows tight to those ribs, head, neck, and chest up, core tight, bend that right knee, press through that left heel. Good. Squeeze it up. Awesome job. Straight down, squeeze, focus on those biceps. Good, focus on the biceps and that left thigh. Feel that burn. Good, we have four more. Make sure you're breathing, exhale out. Good, now stay down in your lunge, arms down by your side, 10 pulses. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, get low, one, good, bring it up, take a rest, shake out those legs, good job. All right, final set on the right, right leg in front, left foot back on that toe, nice upright chest, shoulders are back, we'll take those palms out, ready, here we go, bend the knee, press through that front heel, nice good bicep curl here, great. Everything is controlled. I want you to think about those arms, think about your legs, everything that you're working. Good, keep breathing. Keep that chest lifted. Press through that right heel. So we have three, we have two, and last one, good, again, hold it down, keep it low, 10 pulses, 10, nine, eight, seven, that's six, five, four, three, two, and last one, good job, bring it up, shake out those legs, wonderful job. All right, we're gonna do some plies. You're gonna grab probably two lighter dumbbells. What we're gonna do here, is, um, oh, I'm sorry, that angle's a little bit too low. 
So you're gonna plie, bring the knee out to the side, plie, bring the knee out to the side, okay? So you come down low, knee comes towards same side elbow if you can. If you can't, just stick with the plie, bending the knees, pressing through those heels. You do not have to bring the knee out. All right, so we'll set it up wide stance, walk your toes, 45 degree angle, weights at, ch at chest and center. Bend those knees, and the heels, bring that right leg up, come down nice and fluid, left leg up. Good, go at your own rate. If I'm going too fast for you, slow it down. Good job. Reach that knee, try to get it up to touch that elbow. As you do that, think about crunching a little bit at your oblique. So you bring that knee up, but you're squeezing the core a little bit there. Good, down and up. Down, crunch it up. Excellent. We have four. We have three. We have two. And last one, good job, take a rest. Good work. All right, our next set, we're just gonna hold our plie down and just pulse through the whole set. So it's going to look like this. We're just gonna hold and try to stay low, controlling that motion, not bouncing. So we'll set up our plie, first thing most squat form, wide stance, toes are out. You can grab your weight, place at your chest, bend your knees, chest is lifted, go. Small, tiny pulses. Good job. Core is up, excellent. Focus on getting low if you can. Weight should be in your heels and controlling that motion. So think about squeezing down, keeping those knees over the heels, not overcoming the toes. Chest is up, keep pulsing, feel that burn. It's making you stronger. Excellent job. And we have five, four, three, two, and one. Good job, bring it up, take a rest. Excellent work. Those are some large muscle groups you have there. So you're burning lots of calories. All right, set three, we'll go back to what we did set one. The plie, lifting the knee out to the side. Ready, wide stance, toes out. Bend those knees, get the knee to the same side elbow, and crunch it if you can. Good, make it fluid, land with knees soft. So you wanna land right back into that plie. You don't wanna land with legs straight and then plie. Good, get that knee up as high as you can with, remit, with keeping good balance. Get low, awesome. Exhale. Exhale. Good, four more. That's three. That's two. And that's one. Good job. All right, so we are now going to do a little bit of a plyometric drill. Um, what we're gonna do is you're gonna squat, come up in the toes to crisscross, heels cross, heels cross, heels cross. I recommend if you don't want to jump, since we already did squats, maybe just stick with the calf raises with some weights down by your side or find a wall in your house and sit and hold a wall sit position. The way that it works is I squat onto my heels. When I cross, I come to my toes, I go back to my heels, Opposite leg comes in front, I go to my toes, back to my heels. All right, you choose what's best for you. Ready, go. Squat, cross, squat, cross. Good. You can use your arms if you want. It'll help you get your heart rate up. It'll help you blast some calories. It may help you with your balance. Send those heels cross up on the toes. Excellent job, ladies. Heels. Toes cross, heels, one foot in front of the other, scissor exchange, and four, three, 
two plus one. Good, take a rest. Excellent work. That is a great exercise to blast some calories, but I don't want you jumping if you feel any discomfort. All right, ready, set two. Set it up and go. Squat, toes, heels, cross, one foot in front of the other. Use those arms. Chest, head, and neck up. Excellent. Breathe. Get low. Exhale. Good. Three, two, and one. Take a rest. Excellent. Feel free to march it out. Take a flat out rest if you want. We'll set it up for our third set. Final set of these. All right, toes are forward. Ready, go. Sit in those heels. Cross. Good. Up on the toes, back to the heels. Excellent. Also, jumping jacks is a good one, too. So if these don't feel good, just doing a simple jumping jack might be good for you. Sorry, I should have mentioned that earlier. Good, ladies, you're doing fabulous. Keep it going. We have four, three, two, last one. Good job. All right, fabulous work. All right, so we are gonna go into calf raise upright row, calf raise upright row. So when I do my upright rows, my elbows get nice and high. I roll my shoulders back and I go up on my toes as high as I can. So grab two dumbbells. All right, weight start in front of your body. With your calf raise, look at your feet. They should be lined up right underneath your hips. Legs are straight, ready, go. Up on the toes, roll the shoulders back, everything comes down. Up on the toes, roll the shoulders back, Everything comes down. Good. Up on those toes. As you come up on those toes, think about controlling it. So you come on the toes, squeeze those calves, back to the heels, don't just lower down with gravity. On your upright rows, elbows come high, roll those shoulders back. Nice, good posture. Excellent. Good, that's five. That's four. That's three, that's two, and last one. Good, take a rest. Awesome, full rest here. So when you're rowing, elbows high, and then take that second once you get up to take those shoulders and row them back. All right, grab onto those weights. Set it up for set two, core is tight, ready? and go, elbows high, up on those toes, control down. Good. This makes you have to think a little bit. We're making you use a little bit of coordination, mind, body. Good, exhale with your exertion. Inhale as you come down. Exhale. Good. Feel those arms. Elbows should become higher than the hands. Excellent. And we have three, and we have two, and one more. Good job, take a rest. Good. We have one more. If you are using your dumbbells at home, upright rows are typically a heavier set of weights. If you have different sets, you typically want to use a heavier weight set for upright rows. All right, ready, third, final set. Here we go, elbows high, up on those toes, control down. Good, roll those shoulders back. Excellent. Good, lift. Good, up on those toes. Chest is up, core is strong. Good. 
Good, we're gonna finish these strong, keep going. Good, that's three, that's two, that's one. Now keep the weights down by your side, 10 raises up on the toes, control down, 10 raises. We're at eight, up on the toes as high as you can, control as you go down to those heels. Five, that's four, that's three, that's two, and last one, good job. We're gonna take it down to the mat. Lay flat on your back. We're going to do a single arm, single leg V up with a dumbbell. What this will look like, I'll give you a preview of course as they always do. Uh, opposite leg, so my left leg is extended, my right arm has a weight. My right knee is bent. I take my right arm, I'm gonna crunch to reach, sorry, across my body for my foot. Then I extend all the way down and reach. Now if sitting up all the way, it's too much for you. Just crunch and reach and then extend, okay? So if you can't get the back all the way up off the mat, just crunch. All right, so you can, if you have the option, you can grab a dumbbell if you'd like or no dumbbell. On your back, my right knee is bent, my left leg is extended, my right arm is extended. Ready? Exhale, reach across the body for that foot. Control, lower, one vertebrae at a time. Good, exhale, reach for that toe. Control, exhale, reach. Excellent. Now try not to let your foot touch the mat in between, okay? So it's just a quick extension back to the floor before we crunch right back up and reach for that toe. Do what you can do. Whatever you're doing is better than nothing. Exhale and reach. That's two. And we have our last one. Good, take a rest. Feel free to stretch it out long or hug those knees into the chest. We're going to set up the opposite side so my right leg is extended, my left arm is extended. Ready? Exhale, crunch. Reach for your heel or your toe. Good, control down. Again, if you can't get your back all the way off the mat, just crunch and bring the weight across. Good, exhale and reach. Control as you lower. Exhale and reach. Control as you lower. Great job. These are challenging, but they work oh so well. Good, crunch and reach. Crunch and reach. Good, that's three. That's two. And last one. Good job. We're going to do one more set on each side. So remember, if uh, sitting up, just come across this way. Okay? All right, my right knee is bent. My left leg is extended. My right arm is extended. Ready? Go, crunch, reach across the body. Control as you lower. Crunch, reach. Control as you lower. Good job, ladies, you've got this. Exhale, keep that chest up. Keep those shoulders back. Pull those abdominals in as you're working. Excellent, you've got this, control. Exhale, reach. Good, three more. And we'll set it up for our last one. Good, take a full rest. And we'll switch our side. Our right leg is extended, our left leg, is, our right leg is extended, our left arm is long. Left leg is bent, exhale and go. Reach for that toe, cross the body, control as you lower. Excellent, control. Excellent, keep it going. Final set of these today.
go ahead, final four. That's four, reach across, control as you lower. That's three, keep your chest up. Two, exhale as you extend. Last one, good job. All right, grab your dumbbells. We're gonna do some chest flies on the ground. If chest flies are not your thing because you have a bad rotator, you could do a chest press. So your chest fly looks like this. Your arms are up. You open your arms wide. You squeeze right in. Chest pressed is elbows come to the floor, and then you're going to press overhead. Okay? So your flies, your arms are right up above your chest. You start with your palms facing in. You do not fully lock the elbows. Slight bend. Ready? Open up wide. Squeeze all the way in. Good. Open wide, squeeze in. Good, as you squeeze, focus on squeezing the chest as tight as you can. Awesome, you've got it. Go. Exhale, pull it in. Think about those pectoral muscles. Big muscle group located in the chest. Open wide, squeeze extra when they touch. Good, we have three more. That's two, last one. Good, drop your weight. We're gonna go into a single leg bridge, active rest. Pick your hips up, extend the right leg, lower, lift, press through the heel, lower, lift, lower, lift. If the single leg is too much for you, keep both heels down on the mat. Good, try not to touch your buttocks all the way to the ground. Lower, squeeze that left glute as tight as you can. Good, we have 10, nine, eight, keep breathing, seven, that's six, that's five, four, lower, squeeze for three, two, and last one. Good job, grab your weight, right back up above the chest, and go. Open wide, squeeze in. Good, now remember, if the flies are too much for the shoulders, stick with the chest press, where you're just bending the elbows and pressing overhead. Elbows should not be locked, not too, too bent. Watch the wrist, try to keep them in line with your forearms and squeeze the chest as you bring the arms in together. Exhale, bring it in. Good, we have three. We have two. And last one, good job, rest your weight. Take the hips up, extend the left leg now, lower and squeeze that right side. Good, press through the right heel. Excellent. Try to keep those hips in line. So no rotating on the single leg bridge. Good, lower and squeeze, press through that heel. Squeeze that right glute, squeeze that right hamstring. Lower, squeeze it up. Excellent, don't touch the ground. Keep it going, we have eight. Lower it down, seven, squeeze. That's six, five, four. That's three, that's two. Last one, good job. Grab your weight, last set of flies. Arms are together and go, open it wide, squeeze it in. Good, open it wide, squeeze it in. Exhale. Even though you're on the ground, keep that core tight. Keeps you nice and strong and centered. Good job, ladies. You've got this. Good. Five more. That's five. That's four. That's three, that's two, and last one. Good job, rest your weight. 
get into a bridge with both legs. Now go up onto your toes. Hold your bridge with your toes up. That means we're engaging your calves. Ready, lower and lift. But try to stay on the toes this time, okay? Lower, squeeze. Lower, squeeze. Good, heels are off the ground. Excellent, hips are centered. Lower and lift. Squeeze that buttocks. Lower, lift, lower, lift. Keep those toes on the floor, heels high, high, high. Good job. Lower it down, squeeze it up. Lower, lift, lower, lift, lower, squeeze tighter. Excellent, keep it going. We have eight, seven, extra squeeze for six. Keep those heels up, five, that's four, three, that's two, and last one, good job. You can hug those knees into the chest if you'd like. Last exercise of the day, we're going to go into a plank. All right, first set is going to be plank up. So you're on your forearms, straight arms, forearms, straight arms, okay? So elbows, palm, palm, elbow, elbow. If that's too much for you, just stay holding your plank on your forearms or straight arms, whichever you choose. All right, we'll get into that forearm plank. Elbows lined up underneath shoulders, palms are down. Ready, go. Extend, extend, bend, bend. Keep the core tight throughout. Good. Focus on your form. Everything is tight. Lower and lift with control. Good, now switch which arm you lead off of. If you were using the right, now switch to the left. If you're just holding the plank, keep those hips down and hold those abs tight. Good, that's three. That's two. And last one. Good job, take a rest. Next set, we're gonna do planks with shoulder tap alternating which shoulder we're touching, trying to keep the hips as stable as possible without wiggling back and forth too much. All right, so we'll set that up. Hands right underneath shoulders. Nice straight body. Ready, four, squeeze. Right arm touches left elbow, left arm touches right. Good, otherwise you're just holding. Good, keep it going. Abs are tight, hips are down. I don't want to see any buttocks in the air. Good, tap. Squeeze that core, you got this. Tap, excellent. Squeeze that core. Go at your own rate. If I'm moving too fast for you, slow it down. We have four. We have three, we have two, and we have one. Excellent job, take a rest. Our last one's gonna be a pike up. So you're gonna be nice and straight. Hips come up high, I look down between my arms, I return to regular plank, I come up high, I return to regular plank. When I come up high, I look between my leg and my head comes in between my arms. All right, final set of the day, ladies. Ready? And go. Hips up high, like you're doing your downward dog yoga position. Staying up on those toes. Good, squeeze that core. Excellent. Abs are tight. As you squeeze the hips up, pull the belly button up and into the spine. Feel that stretch through the body. Return to neutral. Good job. Squeeze those hips. Return to neutral. We have five more. Keep breathing. That's four. That's three. 
That's two. And last rep. Excellent job. Feel free to sit back into child's pose. Get a good stretch, full body stretch. All right, thank you so much for joining me. Have a fabulous, healthy, wonderful, happy day. And um, we'll see you all again soon. Thank you, great job today.